Hi, I'm Jeff Martinez with El Chile Cafe and Cantina. Today we're gonna to be making a red snapper ceviche. This is a red snapper, pretty common off the coast of uh, Texas. You can also use a mahi-mahi, or you can use a black drum, which is what we use at the restaurant. So I have some red snapper fillets with the skin on here. I just wanna take that skin off. You can use just about any kind of uh, white fish for this dish. You just want something with a firm flesh. You could even use salmon if you wanted to. You just kind of want to stay away from stuff like mackerel or something that's a little too oily. So I'm going to slice this into some bite-sized chunks. This recipe came from a, a fishing trip that we took when I was down at the coast with some of the co my coworkers from the restaurant after a long week. We had uh, gone out deep sea fishing, got some snapper, and decided to make ceviche out of it because it's probably one of the most simple dishes you can do. So I've got my fish in the bowl here, and I'm going to go ahead and add some lime juice and some lemon juice to it. Add that right in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano, that's gonna flavor it. And then a little bit of salt, try it on top, and I'm gonna mix that up. And I'm gonna set that in the fridge for about six hours, and that's gonna give the lime juice enough time to cook the fish. So while that's marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and make a green herb puree. It's gonna add a little bit more brightness to the ceviche and a little bit herbal flavor. So right here I've got some cilantro, some parsley, and some mint. You can use just about any herbs you want to. You want to stay away from the stronger herbs like rosemary and sage. Chervil works fine. Dill is great also. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic and a little bit of jalapeno for kick. And you just want to kind of puree that until it's kind of a uh, fine pesto kind of consistency. That looks good. As far as getting out and catching red snapper, some of the best spots are near wrecks, oil rigs, and artificial reefs. Oh, you fish with the pros, guys. There are close to 70 of these artificial reef sites in Texas. You can search for the ones closest to you on the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. So we're gonna get our fish out of the fridge. Oh, this looks great. Now this is what you wanna look for. You want kind of some whiteness to the flesh of the fish and you also want a little bit of firmness. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the fish, drain the lime juice marinade off of it. We're gonna add our fish to the bowl. And then to that, we're gonna add our green herb marinade. And then to this, we're gonna add some green olives. It's gonna give a little bit of more salt to it. And a little more lime juice, just to kind of bring back that lime flavor from the marinade. Some jalapenos for a little kick. A little onion. And I've also got some cucumber here. And the cucumber, the uh, onion, and the jalapeno, they're gonna add a little bit more crunch a little more texture to the dish because the fish is still a little soft. I'm going to mix this up, just like so. Now this is a great appetizer. You can be served before a meal or it can also be served as a hearty snack. This smells great. You can smell the herbs, the olives. It smells really fresh. It goes really good with that fresh snapper that we pulled out of the Gulf. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. A couple of slices of fresh avocado. That's going to add a little bit of creaminess to the dish. And there you go. A red snapper ceviche verde, a perfect end for your trip to the Texas coast. Mm -hmm.